important. Okay, Vice Chancellor of International Intensive University, India. He's also the founder and global commander, general, and chairman of the Amani Peace Rescue Mission International, DPRMI. Our professor is also the International Intensive University Africa Head and Country Director. He's also the honorary VP senior professor and senator. Professor Dr. Charles Iziholo Ibora from Nigeria is a professor in education in the areas of theology, peace, diplomacy, crime against humanity, philosophy, psychology, literate, poetry, edu editor, advisor, motivational speaker and public intellectual with over 35 years teaching, administration and research experience. Professor Charles, a consultant and administrator, global educator, African head, country director, senior professor, admirer, global chaplain ambassador general, peacekeeper from Peace Operation Training Institute, finalist at USA, humanitarian, chartered fellow, journalist, poet, human rights activist, lay theologians, have bachelor degree in accounting, an accountant, MBA in administration and marketing, and PhD in education and theory and theology. He is also a chancellor, associate professor, professor in different fields of discipline, a motivational speaker, an international keynote speaker. Have incredible experience in the administration and education for more than 35 years as a fellow member of professional managers and administrators in Nigeria. He's also the fellow in data processing management system, fellow chartered humanitarian, insurance expert, consultation and counselor, and counseling, peacekeeping and peace building. Wow, we are honored to have senior professor Ibora U. Charles. He's also my own personal mentor, and is also one of our great global advisory board member of Yes, You Can International. He is a father and also husband to his lovely wife. Join me in welcoming the man of wisdom to our platform of Yes, you can International Academy, where we present building and managing relationship. In this class class, you'll be learning how to build, maintain, manage, harness the power of quality relationship for a maximized productivity and lasting impact. So join us today to listen to the very great man of God, the great leader in the society, as he share with us on the topic of peaceful and lasting relationship. Welcome, sir. Thank you, ma, for your unmerited honors. Building and managing relationships. Peaceful and lasting relationship is our today's topic. In this, our noble masterclass for transformation. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night to all our excellency. Happy Easter celebration. 
Thank you, great professor, Dr. Queen Elizabeth Lucas, Lu Lucas, the founder of La Lu, the founder of YYCI Academy, for giving me this great opportunity to showcase the glory of God to humanity. By our creation, we are called to always communicate with our creator who created the heavens and the earth by lifting our heart and mind to him. By so doing, we are praying. The fruit produced from praying is faith. Faith make us happy and to be able to live a positive life. Faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen, the confidence and the trust in God and his promises. Our faith in God must produce the fruits of love. Love, the greatest gift, and it's possible for all to possess it because it has been poured into our hearts by the Holy Spirit. Love must be impregnate all the other gifts for it, for it is love that unites, serves, and builds up other gifts will one day disappear, but love lasts forever. Love produces the fruits of service. Service is the art of public worship, following prescribed rules, an art of helpful activity. Help aid to do someone a service. Serving others shows our dedication to the Lord and to the well-being of his children. Service doesn't just help others. It can also lead to our own spiritual growth. When we serve in our callings and do other service, we not only strengthen others, but also become better people. The, the fruit of peaceful living, peace in our relationship, dear friends. On our own, we cannot live a peaceful and lasting relationship. We need our creator to do it for us. Can our hunger, our tastes be quenched by our own human efforts? No, of course, it is beyond us. For all the labors, struggles, we commit ourselves to, we still find that we are still hungry, incomplete, and empty. The things we think we know, we come in the long run to see and to know that we truly know nothing. All our efforts, negative as some may be thinking, we might get peace and happiness through them, only lead and end up in greater distress, mysteries, pains, suffering, sorrow, and total regrets, leaving us worse than we were, except we seek God. Dear friends, nothing truly gives peace, satisfaction, fulfillment, except knowing, believing, trusting God through faith in Christ Jesus. Jesus is a merciful, sacrificial, divine love. Grant us your salvation so that we can do exploits as we are celebrating Easter Monday today. Peace is not absent of conflict. It is the ability to handle conflict by peaceful means. Ways to have a longing, peaceful and lasting relationship. We should always listen with intent to understand not to reply. Two, show affliction always, trust and loyalty. Three, support your partner regardless of the situation. Show true love. Four, confront with compassion. Don't attack. If you do, if you do, defend comes in. Five, respect each other. Respect and appreciate, build a happy, loving, peaceful relationship. Six, 
learn your partner's language of love. E.g., people who feel love when they receive a gift tend to give gifts to people they care about to express love. Some might feel loved if you help them with something or if you say words of affliction to them. Seven, bring honesty in your communication as in your plan, your finance, your experiences, information about your family and your friends. Eight, share when things emerge. Be prudent to talk about issues as they emerge. Nine, be willing to listen and have faith in what you are hearing. 10, after a fight, have conversation by taking stock of what happened. Don't leave things unresolved. Always sustain your relationship and making it work, involve hard work. You need to engage, think, reflect, reciprocate, and continually process what is going on to maintain its quality. Level, be open to being vulnerable with each other. The key to a successful relationship is building the confidence to share more of yourself with your partner each day. Sharing of your personal life goal, as well as your fear and anxiety is very paramount in relationship. So as to have a peaceful and lasting relationship. 12, always connect to your emotional experience of the situation that occur, this facilitate communication. Always forgive. Building trust, very paramount. Always compromise to things that we help build, to things that we develop. Growth. Always, con always connect. Connection is very important because you don't, you can't do it alone. You need others and you need God. Whatever thing we are doing, let us be committed to it. Put on sacrifice, just like our Lord sacrificed for us and has given us this salvation, has given us blessings. We should do the same. Fun and making good memories together. Make fun and memories together, spending a good amount of time with each other, very paramount in relationship. Friendship love, also very good. A highly last positive energy, a highly last positive energy. Positive energy can be found by reflecting on past experiences, surrounding yourself with positivity and stay away from anything that is negative. Always meditate. Meditation is very good for relationship keeping of sustaining relationship. Doing news and old hobbies, what you know you have left before when you are small, bring it up. It doesn't mean you see, you see that joy will come. What you know, the new things you are soul, bring it up. Make everything balance. You will be happy. Everybody will be happy. Take full responsibility of whatever happens in your life. Full responsibility. Don't deny. Take it. It's to the glory of God. Seek to love, not to control people. Seek to love, not to control people. Controlling people, it will bring coerce, bring hatred, bring bitterness. But love them, irrespective of who they are, what they are showcasing. You pray for them. Accept other people. Just the way they are, accept them. Practice tolerance. When things are going wrong, it will make the difference. Tolerance for others is about appreciating the diversity. The many choice in the society, being willing to live, let others live too. Losing your tolerance leads to depression discrimination and violence. People fight each other because they have lost their tolerance for each other. 
Do not compare yourself to others. Walk away from their institution and go and pray and put them in prayer. Live in the moment. Be mindful of your environment. Be of higher self-awareness. Always see the big picture of things clearly. They just conclude on it. Look at the big picture. In respect of what is happening, you look at the big picture. Don't like what we have in Nigeria today. We don't look at what is going on, but we look at the big picture because Nigeria will be a transformed Nigeria, a peaceful Nigeria, a powerful Nigeria. Life is all about being balanced and having inner peace. Being balanced. Life is all about being balanced and having inner peace. You can have all these things you want in your life, but if you can't find inner peace within yourself and with others, there is no way you can live a fulfilling and happy life. Let's try to treat others the way you wish to be treated. Let's always accept differences of opinion, irrespective of us. We have our own opinion. Yes, accept other people's opinion. There may be sense in one or two points the person might raise. It doesn't mean we condemn them because they are not within our own sector. Let's avoid fighting. Violence with violence. Let's always be ready to fight extremism in all its form. All form of hatred, extremism must be fought in unity as a community, or else further division and conflict will arise, just like what we're having today in Nigeria. We don't need to go against that. Everything that happens to one, as I said, there's the hand of God there. Let us always see the hand of God, whether positive or negative. But our own part, what, how are we are managing it? What is our own part? Leave everybody to give accounts. Leave everything for God. We are not judgments. Our purpose of creation, let us do our own part. On the day of judgment, reckoning, we will all give account of our responsibility. Nobody will give account of another person. The key to survival of liberty in the modern world is to embrace of multi-identities. Take people for the individual they are. Avoid misconception. Avoid toxic ne negatives. Get to know the person instead. Whatever people are telling you about that person, don't listen. Know that person. Approach the media with skepticism. What do I mean by that? That is, don't just believe everything you see on the TV and in the newspaper or in the, uh, in the internet. Think objectively, always, objectively. Ah, reason. We have that reason, faith and reason. Reason. Don't allow people to mago you, to miss. No, reason it to the glory of God and God will direct you. You will follow the proper route. Be careful of the language you use. Avoid anything that will bring violence. Let go of the past. You can't move on if you are stuck in the past. Most especially things that are bad in the past. Forget about it and move forward. Stand up for, the, for others. Don't just your own community. No, not your own people. No, stand for others. We are all human beings. We are all working in race. And the last we tell on the last day of judgment, we tell. Celebrate diversity. Learn about and actively engage with those different to you. Engage with them. Don't, don't discriminate. Who are you? God created them. God also created you. Peaceful relationship is when both partners accept each other for all their flaws, their mistakes, and support each other unconditionally. Let us always see failure as a learning curve, as a learning curve, when you will fail. No, don't look at you to be a failure, no. You must, uh, uh, you are learning. Things will come out good from that your failure to the glory of God. Find positive outlet for negative emotion. When you see any, look at the positive side, not just negative, negative doesn't just come negative. There's positive thing in it. Walk towards that positive or make it positive within that negative. Be kind. Don't compare. 
Stand up for what you believe in. Monitor your thoughts. Always keep your eyes on the bigger picture. Challenge your should and your must. Challenge it. Challenge your impatience. When negative is coming, challenge that. Challenge it, and God will now give you the answer. It doesn't mean because negative things have come. That's your should. Go and do this. Or you just take it. No, challenge it. Always connect with others. Collaboration is key. Adapt an attitude of gratitude. Enjoy your time. Resist guilt. Resist it. Any guilt in you. It will not make you grow. Resist it. It's not lie. It's not my own. Oh, it's not my portion. Resist any worry. Worry less. You don't need to worry. By the time you worry, you'll not be able to move. Don't take yourself too serious. Oh, everything is so simple. So that you can, there are a lot of things you could do. If one way close, another one will open. If another one opens, another it just goes. Just believe the positivity. You are working, you are work, we are doing, we are running a race. And the race, just like Jesus Christ, he walked the race. Look at him today. He has saved us. Look at those races he was working. We are crucifying, doing a lot of things. Look at him today. He has given us salvation. So who are we? Let us only look at the cross of Jesus. Look at the resurrection power. We move in respect of whatever trials we are passing through, whatever suffering we are passing through. Look at that cross. We will see. We will get salvation there. We will get freedom there. Laugh a lot. Laugh a lot. Smile. Laugh a lot. Laughter is a great antidote for stress and releases hormones that help us to relax. Look at the way you laugh to help you to relax. Because everywhere is tense, both Nigeria, every, all the countries, we are all tense. So smile, laugh. You see that almost will come and you will now relax very well and you move forward. Be true to yourself. Love yourself. Get enough sleep. Go for a walk in nature. Take deep breathing. Listen to music. You have inner, inner peace. Stay calm. Live a quiet life in all godliness and dignity. First Timothy chapter 2, verse 2. Focus on the cross and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. The significance of our life should be processed in view of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Wrong thinking makes many to suffer. So your thinking should be in line with our Lord's resurrection. As we know, as we know, Good Friday. I like negative things, pain, suffering, bitterness, etc. While Easter Sunday, the resurrection day brings victory, positivity, such as love, forgiveness, over negativities, what happened during the passion. So it brings negative things. So we must always look at positive things in the negative thing so that we can forge ahead so that there will be peace in the world. Love each other as God has loved us. John chapter 15, verse 12. Do to others as you will have them to do to you. Luke 6, 34. Do it in love. To be peaceful. And having lasting relationship, we need to deepen our relationship with God. Get to know who is God. Read God's words. If you're a Christian, the Bible, if you're a, if you're a Muslim, the Quran, read it. Spend time with God. Praying. Live out your love for God by being obedient to God. Live out God's love for others by doing the work of service. Enjoy the gift of God in you by living a gratitude life. Happy Easter celebration. As we all know, Easter is given to us by God because God loved us so much. He wanted us to always be with him too. At Easter, the sins of humanity, we are paid by the death of Jesus Christ and that his resurrection represents the, the anticipation we can have in our resurrection. Easter is important to us because it celebrates Jesus' victory over death. It will interest us to know 
that Sunday is our small Easter. There are three significance of Easter, the trial of Jesus Christ, the death of Jesus Christ, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Luke 24, verse 6 to 7, tells us, the Son of Man had been given into the hand of sinner, be crucified, and rise on the third day. It is also remind us of our trials, of our death, and our resurrection. So we must follow our last step by asking for his grace always, so we can also be victorious. Being victorious make us to be able to live a peaceful and lasting relationship with one another. Note, the joy of Easter is our victory over death. First Corinthians chapter 15, 4 to 55. John chapter 14, 2 to 3. By rising from the dead, Christ has given us hope. John chapter 8, John chapter 16, verse 23. Christ has risen. What next? We are called to become a witness by living a peaceful and lasting relationship with one another. Act of Apostles chapter 10, 33 to 43. Colossians 3, 1 to 4. John chapter 20, 1 to 9. Acts chapter 10, 34, 37 to 43. May God always bless us with his amazing blessing. May we always be happy as king on this Easter and thereafter through our Lord Jesus Christ. May the spirit of the hope that Easter brings help us find contentment in little things and restore our faith in the Lord, in the Lord above, who gives us life for once he loved. May you and your family be blessed by the Lord. May your life be transformed magically into something beautiful and magical. May the turning back of Jesus Christ bring inner peace, joy, and satisfaction to our hearts. As the rain and the snow come from the heaven and do not return to it till they have watered the earth, making it fatter and fruitful, yielding seed for sowing and bread to eat. So is the word of God that goes forth out of God's mouth. It will not return to God fruitless, but it will accomplish God's will and achieve the purpose for which God sent it. Isaiah 55, 10 to 11. Happy Easter celebration as we meet the Lord in Galilee today, as we celebrate the joy of Easter today. Stay safe and healthy always. Happy total forgiveness, new hope, and renewed life, which gives us peace and lasting solution. Thank you, my sister, for this opportunity. May God come to bless you and bless your family. Bless all the members of YYCI Academy. May God come to strengthen us as he has empowered us today. Let us go and empower others. As we empower others, live a peaceful life and blessing of God will be permanent in our life. Thank you so much. <laughs> this is amazing, amazing teaching, Professor Charles. This is amazing to build our relationship and also to keep peace in the family and even among the relationship. We really, really appreciate your teaching. And I want to say to all our viewers, our listeners, our our. Um, learners and participants please i hope you've enjoyed please comment and share make sure that everyone is you know is enjoying this teaching from professor charles because we keep learning learning is living no one is perfect and nobody knows it all and we know between ourselves that relationship is very very important even if you have the whole world, you have the health, you have the wealth, you still need a relationship. There are three things that is very important in life. And that is wealth. There's three things that is very important in life. And that is number one, your health. Number two, 
relationship. And number three, your peace with yourself, with God, and with others. So that is why it is so important that we keep on learning and teaching on building and managing relationship. So thank you so much, Professor Charles. And before you leave, because you might want to leave before we finish up today, let me use this opportunity to announce something that is very important that I will be evolving in. I have no choice, I have to involve in it because I'm Africa. <laughs> okay, this is the, our conference, very unique conference that we normally do every month. And this month of April, on the 29th of April, from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. UK time, we would like you to join us as we want to share with you about sustainable development and corporate social responsibility in interna international organization, which is very, very important. So join us as IIU, let me say, as International Intensive University Africa <laughs> Continent Virtual Conference present to us with all these, our great leaders, our great speakers. And we have the founder of mm -hmm. IIU, Piyush Pandit, will be there. Mm -hmm. Trustee, Dr. Roshi Lai will be there. And our academician, senior professor, Dr. Chaplin, General Ibuora Charles, he's the vice chancellor International Intensive University. He's also the head of African continent IIU, and he's also the host of this great conference. You don't want to miss it. I will be there. Professor Dr. Ravinda Rena will be there. Her Excellency, Professor Dr. Ambassador Mary Mia from South Africa will be there. And our Royal Majesty, Professor Simpson, Peter Olushola, Beileyi will be there. So while mm -hmm. waiting, please come and join us. Guess what mm -hmm. again? Dr. Professor Adil Gun Joseph Kayode will be there. They will be sharing their great wisdom, their mm -hmm. knowledge and their experience. My own very sister from Zimbabwe, Dr. Patricia Gonde will be there. Ambassador Shola Amudipe will be there. Dr. Uh, Mole Basse will be there as well. And even our own ambassador, Dr. Joel Olaniyo will be our co-moderator on that day. So it's an event that you don't want to miss. Let's come together on the 28th, I'm on the 29th of April, 2023 at AM. Let us be early riser on that day so that we can learn from the great, great leaders. Ambassador Professor Dr. Kofi will be there also. So an Ambassador Sir Prince Duke, Prof Professor Blessing Lawal will also be there. So come and join us. And if you want more information about IIU African continent, please contact my mentor, Professor Charles, and he will be able to give you more information. Another thing I need to also let you know quickly, you can also grab your honorable doctorate, award from African IIU continent as well. So while waiting, contact Professor Charles and he will be able to give you full details about IIU in general. Thank you so much. Now we can move. Thank you, ma'am.
Okay, let's go on as we 